Bodega Bay sits just off of California's Highway 1, approximately 60 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge. It's the perfect day trip to escape the hustle and bustle of nearby San Francisco, though it's also a wonderful spot for a weekend getaway. The town of Bodega Bay originated as a small fishing port in the 1870s, and with the opening of Highway 1 in the 1920s, the town quickly became a tourist destination. We want to share with you what we consider to be the top 10 things to do in Bodega Bay, California. For starters, we're going to take a scenic drive along West Shore Road to the Bluff Top parking lot for Bodega Head. The drive along the harbor was crystal clear, but as soon as we hit the parking lot mere minutes away, we were met with pretty foggy conditions. Coastal fog is typical here, especially in the summer months. But fortunately for us, it burned off pretty quickly. Turning this into this. and turning this foggy vista into this beautiful panorama. So our first recommended thing to do in Bodega Bay is to simply enjoy the views at Bodega Head. With clear skies, you can see Tamales Point to the south and miles and miles of Sonoma Coast State Park to the north. If you're up for a walk, our second recommended thing to do is to go on a hike and explore the headlands. This area in Bodega Bay is actually the southernmost point of Sonoma Coast State Park. The Bodega Head Trail is a 1.6 mile circular loop that starts from the parking lot and goes all along the coastal bluff, offering gorgeous views of the crashing waves and sea stacks down below. Because this trail goes all the way around the head, you'll also get views on the east side. This scenic vista showcases the two mile long Doran Split, which protects the bay on the south. You're probably feeling pretty hungry after all of that walking. And if you are, we've got the perfect spot for you to fill your belly. Spud Point Crab Company arguably has some of the best clam chowder on the West Coast. They also offer a pretty reputable Dungeness crab sandwich, in addition to other mouthwatering menu options. Our next recommended thing to do in Bodega Bay is to stop by the Children's Bell Tower, a beautiful memorial to a seven-year-old Bodega Bay resident who died in 1994. Nicholas Green and his family were vacationing in Italy when he was killed by highway robbers in a case of mistaken identity. Seven Italians received organ donations from Nicholas, and he and his family became widely known as symbols of hope throughout the world. Our next recommended stop is just steps away from the bell tower. You'll find a picturesque collection of trees nearby, both in the Bodega Dunes campground and near the parking lot for the bell tower. What makes these trees unique is what lies within their branches. Locals and visitors alike have adorned these trees with a collection of ornaments and wind chimes. Since you're already near the Bodega Dunes, our sixth recommended thing to do in Bodega Bay is to get some sand between your toes as you explore the dunes and the beach down below. Our seventh recommended thing to do in Bodega Bay is to indulge in some sticky and sweet saltwater taffy. There are two taffy stops in town. The first is Candy and Kites, where you'll find a fun collection of various taffy flavors, along with a colorful assortment of yard art and, of course, kites. And just down the street is Patrick's, which sells bagged collections of this seaside treat along with other sweets and souvenirs.
Coming in at number eight is the UC Davis Bodega Marine Laboratory. Access to the lab is limited, so you'll want to make a reservation for their free Friday docent-led public tour. Group tours are also available on occasional days throughout the week for a small fee. Contact the lab for more information. These tours are a great way to learn about the ongoing marine and coastal science research taking place at the lab and gives you the opportunity to meet a variety of colorful and diverse ocean creatures along the way. If you can't make it to the lab, you'll likely still see plenty of wildlife throughout the Bay Area, including over 100 different species of birds. Keep your eyes peeled for migrating whales in the ocean, flocks of birds in the sky, and mule deer in the vegetation areas. Did you know that Alfred Hitchcock's 1963 smash hit, The Birds, was set and filmed in Bodega Bay? And a building from one of the most iconic scenes still stands today. The Potter Schoolhouse played a prominent role as the Bodega Bay School. Next door, St. Teresa of Avila Church also appears in the film. So our final recommended thing to do when in Bodega Bay is to visit the Potter Schoolhouse located approximately four miles inland within the small community of Bodega. The historic building is a private home, so visitors are asked to respect the homeowner's privacy when visiting and taking photographs from afar. A historic landmark plaque on the fence details the school's interesting 150 year history. Of course, there are more than just these 10 things to do in Bodega Bay. Whale watching is another recommended activity specifically between the months of January and May when the whales are making their migratory journey up and down the coast. Kayaking, kite flying, and fishing are other fun activities to consider for your time in this charming seaside destination. Want to see more awesome travel videos? Subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other content. We've got a lot of great California videos in addition to other small town and road trip destinations.